Ever since he first bent a spoon with the power of his mind on UK TV back in the 70s, Yuri Geller has, despite his many other achievements, been associated with this everyday piece of cutlery. In fact, he became, for a short while, the spoon's worst enemy. There wasn't a spoon in Great Britain that someone hadn't tried to bend. Now he's agreed to think about possibly becoming the honorary lifetime president of the Spoon Council and is keen to promote the spoon. The most useful of utensils in the cutlery drawer. You use it to nourish your body. Mm -hmm. and yeah, but let's put it, let's put it right now. Well, with yeah. bearing that in mind, you know, is it true to say really that without the spoon, you'd be a nobody? Not really. I, I mean, I um, did the spoon bending to illustrate mm -hmm. to people the power of my mind, the energy that my mind can emit. Really it was the, the humble spoon that made you famous? No, no. Um, the, the spoon bending which I brought into the world was mm. to show everyone that this is possible, that the mm -hmm. power of the mind is immense. I, I very quickly moved into other areas and I mm. used my paranormal abilities for totally other things. Let's get back to the, the spoon. I mean, how useful was that to you in terms of furthering your career? It wasn't. I, you know, looking back at my past mm. when I worked, for instance, for intelligence agencies, for, for government secret work, I, I, I never used this one. Besides, I can't really talk about that. Sure, but without the spoon, I mean, let's face it, none of this would be here, would it? I mean, you owe all you, you have to... You are wrong, because, you know, I diverted, I diversified, I used my abilities to locate oil fields to find gold mines from major mining companies. Mm -hmm. I have written 20 books which were translated mm -hmm. into 50 languages, sold millions of books. I lecture to major mm -hmm. corporations around mm -hmm. the world. But, but, but well, you, you know, you keep going mm -hmm. on about this spoon. I mean, aren't you interested in, in other things? Uh, you sure, know, absolutely. I'm a busy man. Of course. But without the spoon, there would uh, be no TV okay. shows. L l let's cut okay. here. Yuri suddenly had to make urgent telephone calls to his celebrity lawyer and celebrity PR advisor, so we decided to take a short break from filming the interview. After showing us some of his other work on his website, yurigeller.com, we made him look at our website, thespooncouncil.org.uk. Then Yuri settled down again to eagerly share his love of all things spoon. So without the spoon, there would have nothing to do with spoons. Right, okay. I well, mean, you keep going on constantly, you know? Mm -hmm. You're, you keep insisting this bloody spoon, you know? Do you have an affinity, do you feel, with simple, shallow, depressed objects? I want you to stop filming right now. Stop. And I want you to get out. Yuri, please. Your response. No, 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 Graham. That, that we, we ended the interview now. Yeah, yeah well, it's simply that it's the spoon, surely, yeah. which is, has made you your career. Just, just leave. I'm, I'm going to call my lawyer. Get out. Get out. I think that went well. And cutting. Mihaila is how it's done. Better than before. But it's usable. Yeah, That's good enough. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. 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 Yeah